Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of Top 5 on this channel. This series will basically look at franchises that have more than 5 movies and I will pick the, my top 5 in that franchise or film series. The first episode will be one of the biggest recent franchises that have well, finished its basic run. It has 3 spin-offs in the work but anyway. The Harry Potter film series, yes indeed, one of the biggest phenomenons in the world and basically the highest grossing film series to date. And yeah, let's start! Uh, before I start this, I will just say this is a test run, this first episodes, to see if it has some traction, so yeah. Top five. let's see, number five will be... Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Reason for that is basically that it is the build-up to the final two parts movies. Basically, it has one of the biggest deaths in the history of the Harry Potter uh, books and film series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because of that, it is basically one of my favorites because it the big build-up is basically a really big. Uh, well. It, that is basically one of the reasons I think it is one of the best. It gives you all the tension that you need to actually watch the final two parts of the series. Yeah. Number four are going to be Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This is basically because these, these trials are in, really interesting for me because it is three different schools, uh, different people, different, well, how could you say? Kinds of magic, uh, magical people that we see. Different characters, really interesting uh, plots, and really interesting ending when everything bad basically happens. Yeah. Number three are going to be Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows Part 1. The biggest build up for the final part of this series. This movie is a great uh, well wait for the f final hours, well, final movie basically. Uh, of course they cut the final book in two parts, I don't know why, because it isn't the biggest book, but anyway. Uh, it is really a great build up to the final movie and a really great send off or to some characters and really greatly put together in all of its aspects, in my opinion. Number two, and this may be a big surprise for some people, but Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows Part 2. The big final, basically the big final, the big war, is one of the best moments in the Harry Potter film series uh, history. And everything that happens in this movie is in my opinion, really greatly put together, really well played, really well acted. Everything is just well put together. Even though that some parts of from the book isn't in it, it's like the one of the death scenes uh, that basically turned out to be, uh, well, basically the same but not 100%. So yeah, it is because of, because of some stuff like that, it was a little bit of a turn off, but anyway, it's a big, great send off of the franchise, and yeah. But my favorite Harry Potter movie, number one, are going to be Harry Potter and the Prisoner from Azkaban. Reason for that is basically this is the first movie that started to show the dark side of the Harry Potter series, and it also started this a little bit more comedic. Uh, part of the Harry Potter series as well. Even though the first mo two movies were more chillin oriented and more, well, in my opinion, they are more chillin oriented and there were more laughs and everything. This one turned a little bit more darker. Uh, it had one of the best introductions in my opinion to the werewolves. And it were, uh, was a really great twist in the end uh, because I never read the book before this one and the, it actually turned out to be a really great uh, third part of this series and would have been a great send off it is if it is would, wouldn't have been more movies basically after this one. But, yeah. 
that's all for today, folks. Hope you liked it. This will be the first episode in this series, or hopefully there will be more for the next time. Bye.